Hi, don't laugh. I just did another video and I just took the wig off and this is what was left. I'm gonna show you a new wig that I got not too long ago and I tried it out uh, maybe two weeks ago I started wearing it. It's the Equal Invisible Part Wig. The style is festival. The color is P1B30. So this is her. I got her from ElevateStyles.com. It was one of their Friday deals. Wild Weekend. Their Wild, sorry, their Wild Weekend deal. So I've worn her. So she she's not definitely not as um, new looking as she was when I first got her. As you can see, look at the back. It's already a bird's nest. So this is how it comes. It comes with a piece of cardboard in the middle, and this wig actually has those wig, wig combs that snap. So it comes with one here, one here, and one in the back. And there's an adjustable strap. And one thing that I feel like this is missing is a comb in the back. It would really help the situation. So basically what I did was, I did a braid, a flat twist I should, I should say, going down like this, and I did a bantu knot at the end to get it spirally. So I did this, and I didn't put her all the way to the end because of the tracks you don't want them right well I didn't want them right here you'd be able to see that it wasn't real so I just clipped in the clips and the issue I'm having is that when I pull it down like this you know like the elastic isn't tight enough to make it feel snug so I always have to use hair pins or bobby pins to stick it, you know, to keep it there. And I would also put one here where the part meets right here on either side. So I'm about to undo this. And I try to do it not too messy because I would like it to keep the curl. So I really wanted the ombre color in this, but I took too long trying to decide if I wanted to get an invisible part, invis invisible part wig that by the time I made the decision it was gone, so I just got the 1B30. So basically I would sort of, you know, make my own little part here. So. I would do this. See the trick with this is you have to cover the tracks and that's what I was having a challenge with and it was causing me like anguish and stress. So this the front here is not necessarily how I was um, how I was doing it when I was wearing this wig but since I was wearing my La Apple wig last week I kind of had to change how I um, twisted the hair. So this is not the twist for the festival wig. It's more the twist for the La Apple because it's so small and tight, the curl in the front. But anyway, you get the idea. So with this wig, what I was doing was I was like putting... Because I didn't like the way it looked like this. I felt like it was raising up too much and it wasn't necessarily blending properly with the wig at first. So I would just sort of put a pin and do something like this, you know, just to keep it like this. And then I would put another one here just to do like a sort of a gathered look like this. But I'm feeling like it definitely got a lot older looking since I first started wearing it and I could probably leave it like this. 
I like the curl. The curl is like a, a more of a loose curl. It's not really necessarily like a kinky afro. But it definitely gets kinky after after a while. So this is how I would wear her. More or less. And I like the way how she sort of comes out and tapers in. The edges I would use my wig wig it smoother with my old trusty red toothbrush. And I would just, you know, neaten up the edges. This stuff is the best. I love it. It's even good when you're not even wearing wigs, just to get your little baby hairs all slicked. So, this is her, and I have to tell you, she is looking a lot better now. Than she was when I first, first opened her. That's the problem I have with wigs sometimes, with this sort of texture. By the time it starts to look, you know, like, more, more natural is about the time that it's time to throw it out, so... It's kind of like that thin line. But anyway, here she is. The Equal Invisible Part Festival in 1B30. Looks nothing, nothing, nothing like what this chick looks like on this card. But whatever. Here she is. Hope you enjoyed her. I think she ran me about, she's probably in the 20s, the, the cost of her. I forget how much I paid. I got it during the wild weekend sale, so I think it came up to about $25 with shipping. And they charge $8, so you can do the math. <laughs> but anyway, this is her.